Let's go run the Princess Half Marathon. 2023. Another pretty sweet sunset. Okay, not only the sunset, but the, the Disney Springs balloon going up. It's just beautiful. It's still going. Oh, I love that. Okay, we're closing in on 6.15, so you know, it's that time. Got my flat layout. Uh, obviously doing a Tiana theme. Those ears light up, which I'm super excited about. Got my shorts, my bra, all the things. We're here, the usual suspects, bib magnets, road ID, stuff from my pocket. I'm bringing extra salt tabs for the half marathon. Interval timer, headphones, camera, stuff for my sock bun, breakfast for the crowd, obviously keys and wallet. Shoes are ready to go with my body glide in there. Oh, I meant to show you, it's still on the floor. Um, I need to buy more of these because I'm out. But these are the salt sticks that I like when it's extreme humidity and I need to replenish my salt levels. Oop, not focusing. But that's, that's the one. And the lemon lime flavor is always best, in my opinion, on any sort of electrolyte or hydration thing. Um, and then in my to go to the car bag, the usual suspects I have, we'll see if we need it. I've used them every other day this week, so uh, the throwaway long sleeve shirt, and they're donatable. And then the um, if I wanted to sit on disposable poncho, but haven't needed that. Last night of. 6.30, bedtimes. Early the next morning. Ta-da! <laughs> Come on! Look at these! Aren't they cool? Aren't they like the coolest? I love them. <laughs> ah, I love them so much. Alright, well, if you're not familiar with princesses, I am rocking a Tiana-inspired look this morning for the half. I am nervous and excited and all, all of the things, but uh, gotta love a good running dress that's themed. And I just can't with these ears. I mean, I just, I just can't, they're, they're the best. So I'm ready to go. It's just before, it's five to three, it's time to go. I'm so glowy. <laughs> you can't decide if I wanna leave them. I like worry about things running out of batteries. I'm sure it'll be fine, but anyway in Crush 205 today, which I will not remember in, you know, however many hours, four, five, anyway, <sighs> nervous, I'm real nervous today, um, I don't really know why, it's gonna be a hot one, but it's not, not the end of the world, uh, it'll be all good though, the uh, spaceship Earth looks real pretty, I'm gonna go through security. I don't know if I've mentioned this in the previous videos, but you go through the Epcot main entrance. So you go through security just like you do at a park tag. Where you walk to the like sensor things and they pull pull you over to search your bag if you have like a something in there that's, that's questionable. Like for instance, don't bring tins of anything to a Disney park, like a tin of Altoids or mints or band-aids or whatever. Just don't bring tins because they always make the they always like trip the the sensor. Anyway, here we go. I realize I've just been showing the the glowy ball close up, but here it is on the way in from the parking lot. It's a real nice view. You can hear the front line music already. Just a few porta potties. Just, you know, 
a modest amount of porta potties. They they go on the other side too. There's a place to get some water. Fill up bottles or hydration packs here. And lots of people milling about because corrals are not open yet for another 15 minutes. There's more porta potties. Yeah, I know people are asking about that. So long walk to the corral. Just like marathon weekend.
time. We found the elusive jogging jack sparrow. Those with the challenge bib get their extra medal to the challenge, which is exciting. You gotta go get it. And then you get your snack box after that. It's a little bright. I don't know if you can see, but we'll go get it. Jogging jack is very popular. Thank you! Uh, look at that! She's a beaut! Cinderella behind the glass. So nice. And you gotta get your snack box. Go get my picture taken. That was not at the finish line. Back with the nut-free fruit. The pretzels. I really like pretzels. The sunflower seeds. The cheese. In quotation marks. And the waffle. Last box. Well, at least for another six and a half weeks. There she is. She spins. She... She spins in multiple ways. She's a multiple spinner. So this background bit spins, this little flower spins, and then guess who's on the back? You're welcome. <laughs> this is the half marathon medal. This little 15 years uh, running bit on the back there. Uh, they've noticed, and I've mentioned this in each of the videos, but they've been giving out the medals in the little plastic bags. I'm guessing that's how they come anyway, um, and then they just usually unwrap them all and have them hanging and stuff, but I don't know, maybe people complain about the medals being like scuffed and damaged before they even get them. That's what I've rumored rumor around the block, so earned that today, and also earned this today my um fairy tale challenge for doing the half and the 10k and this is like a little cinderella running racing against the clock here how cute is that so cute this is heavy this is like solid oh see look look it's already coming off a little bit on the edges and i've barely worn mine huh well, that's what happens. It's okay. It's all right. It's all good. It was a really good race. It was a way cooler, and I don't know if it was less humid. Let me get my phone. Oh, my ears. I wore the ears the whole time. I took them off to turn the lights off, and then I didn't put them back on. But these were great. I felt very comfortable in them. I got lots of compliments on course, um, and mostly they were just fun. That worked out great. All right, I unfortunately forgot to turn off my RunKeeper tracking app um, at the finish, and I ended up um, 
with like an additional five minutes on that. That is, it doesn't matter though, because it'll still tell me the temperature. Yeah, it was less humid. So it was 62 degrees, 92% humidity with a slighter, a slightly more breezy breeze, four miles per hour. So not a lot of a breeze, right? But something, something. Anyway, um, it was beautiful. It was a little sticky, but not nearly what it was um, Friday for the 5K was definitely the stickiest. And then it's just gotten progressively nicer as the weekend went. So weather was great. Course was fun. Um, I will pop in a course map for you so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to say it's a lot of road. I knew that going in. So the first, they like take you all the way out to where the half marathon and the marathon start for marathon weekend. So you have to walk that like from my watch, my Apple Watch clocked it at just about two miles from my car in the parking lot to where I parked myself in the bee corral. Um, so there's that. And then, so for the first, I want to say four and a half, four and a half plus miles, you're doing road. And it's okay. It was uh, lots of characters, lots of entertainment um, in that road. Uh, just a lot of fun. Uh, I felt like I felt like there was a lot of characters today, and I really appreciate that. And they stuck with the princess theme pretty, pretty strong throughout. By the end of the course, they started putting out like Fancy Nancy and like Disney Junior characters, which I thought was an interesting choice. Uh, but it's fun, you know. Whatever, we take it. Um, so mile, just about mile. Mm, oh, so this was fun. The way that they shuttled us into the Magic Kingdom was different and I think we did this at some other race but it does I, I'm not in recent races um, we came in through like the bus stop in front of the Magic Kingdom and ran in through that way so that was really fun because uh, it felt a little different and Mickey and Minnie were there in their 50th outfits um, waving from you know the train station platform up top so that was fun mile five is right in like right, right when you're going down Main Street, looking at the castle, there were so many people um, cheering in in Magic Kingdom, and I saw a couple people who uh, recognized me, and I and and I, I waved. <laughs> I don't know. So that was really fun. Of course, it's always wonderful to run. It's the kind of the, the usual Magic Kingdom route, you know, behind um, down Main Street and then through Tomorrowland and then kind of behind. Not really behind, but kind of like touching through um, Fantasyland a little bit there. And then by the, you know, like where the teacups are and all that. And then by the carousel and through the castle. I did stop for another race photo today, my second ever. I stopped for Tiana. Um, the line was actually a little longer, it looked like, but it took me only three minutes from when I stopped to get in the line to when I got out of the line. Um, so they were they were moving it snappy. So I hope that picture turned out. I was like, because I was so excited. But you know, I dressed as Tiana and I wanted to stop for her today. Um, and then run through the castle. That was really fun. Uh, of course, it's always fun. Um, and then they split you out through Libertyville and I don't actually know if that's what it's called. I keep saying things like I know what they're called and you think I would know after this long, but I don't. Um, and then down that... Um, that stretch, you know, that goes by um, Country Bear Jamboree and Frontierland and all that. By the construction that they're doing on Splash Mountain. And then out. Um, and then out. And back onto road. And on road from mile 6 and through mm, mile 12. When we just popped into Epcot for the last mile and change. Uh, so mostly road. But it was still really fun. I felt like the energy was really fun. Um, and the weather just helped so much. I felt really good in my body. Um, it was just a, it was a fun course. It was a little bit different the way that we came in through Ep Epcot, um, coming in kind of in the back lot behind the seas and the land. Um, so not in front of those, but behind those. And then popping through, we didn't go through World Showcase at all. We didn't even like touch, sometimes we touch into England a little bit and Canada. We didn't touch into that at all. We we went through um, like where the Figment ride is. 
so that was a little different. And they're still doing all that construction in front of um, Spaceship Earth. I don't know, what are they calling it? Um, what do they call that area? It doesn't have a name right now, but it, it's where they're building like the Moana thing and all that. I can't wait till that's all done because, uh, first of all, just because it'll be fun to see it, but also specifically for running, it'll make it interesting to run through it if, if that's how the courses still go. And then the usual finish, um, they brought us back around uh, through, you know, where Creations is and Connections Cafe and then by Mission Space and then back in the back lot. Um, uh, past the back of Guardians and then out to the finish area. So that was the course. So definitely a lot of road, but it didn't feel like I wasn't disappointed. I felt like, I don't know, it just felt fine. <laughs> and I think it's because they had so many characters and entertainment out on on the road this time. Um, some, some races I feel like they've had significantly less. Maybe it just was the feeling today. It just... It felt very, very fun and, I don't know, just really fun. So there were lots of princess costumes, of course, saw lots of Moana's and um, all of Moana's friends, right, and relations, but uh, I did notice this this time also, I don't know, I don't know if I knew about this from before, uh, but the princess men. Lots of princess men on course all weekend, so that was that was fun too. And uh, I don't know, it was just it was really good. I ran a little bit faster for me than um, I did at the half marathon at Dopey Challenge. I ran a few minutes faster. Uh, so, um, like I said, I didn't. My run keeper isn't accurate because. <laughs> I didn't do well with the timing of it, but I'll show you my splits. I'll put them up here. So I maintain a pretty healthy pace. Obviously I slow down a little bit the longer the race is. Um, but I was holding a really healthy pace for a while. I didn't stop to go to the bathroom at all, but you can see um, just between mile five and six, my mile six is longer because I did stop for those few minutes, right? Three minutes, that makes sense actually, to, um, to take the, the picture with Tiana. Uh, but totally, totally, totally worth it and just, just fun. My body feels good. I feel good. I don't feel depleted in, in, in like a, a, any way really. I feel really like jazzed and energized, which is good because I'm planning on spending a lot more time on my feet today and I'm taking myself to the Magic Kingdom, which I meant, I don't know if I mentioned it here or not. Yes, I think I did. Um, I am going to be filming that because it's something that I, um, it's something a little bit new for me. I'm trying to do a post-race park day, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna vlog my experience, and that will be up for you probably next week by the time you see this. But yeah, I don't know. It was just good. It was just good. Uh, I you know, Princess is definitely a different vibe. I will say, like, if I'm being completely transparent. Um, if, and I don't want this to come off as like catty or complaining, it's just, I think it's actually a beautiful thing, but it's just a thing that I'm noticing. It, it seems a little clicky. And I just mean that these, this is a weekend that a lot of people do with their friends and family again and again and again. And again, I think that's a beautiful thing. Uh, but it's definitely like, I feel like the vibe is a little bit more small to medium groups of people rather than kind of like a hodgepodge of all all sorts of folks um so i don't know take that as you will but it kind of makes sense with the princess theme too um i think a lot of people think of this as like the one race that they come to every year that means a lot to them that connects them to friends and i saw a lot of mothers and daughters on course of older mothers and daughters which was i love that um you know, I think that's a beautiful thing. Uh, but yeah, definitely a, a different vibe. Um, and it's been so long since I did this, you know, 10 years since I last did this. And I didn't have anything to compare it to back then because that was like, you know, I did that and I did Tinkerbell, which is similar, but on the West Coast. And I know it was just, it's different. Would I do it again? Absolutely. I don't know how that will work. In next year I, I haven't quite thought that far ahead especially with my plans earlier in the year 
with the Coast to Coast Challenge, um, I'd have to really think about if that's the right decision for me. And also, most importantly, if it works scheduling-wise. Um, but alas, we shall see. I'm ex really excited to come back for springtime. I think that's going to be a hoot. Uh, the Pixar-themed um, challenge is, you know, the 5K, 10K, and the 10-miler. Uh, so that'll be really fun. <laughs> And I'm doing yoga for that too. Uh, so there's more on Disney coming, but uh, a little bit of a break between now and then. And, and I have some other travels coming up that um, I'm excited to share with you. But in, in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. It means so much. I cannot tell you. It really does mean so much to me uh, to bring you with me because that really, that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm bringing along some friends for the journey and... Um, I just really enjoy sharing it with you. So thank you very, very much for running with me, for keeping me company, uh, for being my posse. And um, uh, yeah, I really, really appreciate you. I hope this was in some way, shape, or form entertaining, interesting, or helpful to you. <laughs> and a, I hope to see you on course someday in the future if this piqued your interest in that way. Um, I, lots of magical miles to be had, friends. So I am wishing you all that and more, and happy, happy running, whatever, wherever and whatever you're doing, just happy trails. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and take very good care. Bye.